What is the spatial delayed response test? Well, there's another long name for a test. Okay. The best way to describe this test is just to flat out illustrate it to you. Okay. You have a participant. He is seated in a chair, much like what I am right now, in front of a computer screen. Believe it or not, there's actually a computer screen right behind my camera. Okay. Now then, what does this participant see on his screen? Well, the first thing he sees on his screen is a little plus sign. That's all he sees. He doesn't see this dot yet. Okay. And he is asked to stare at this plus sign. And after a short period of time, this dot appears, but very briefly. Okay. Just long enough for him to see it, but not long enough for him to stare at it. Okay. And after that dot appears, then the, then the plus sign and the dot disappear. And what appears on the screen next? A series of geometric shapes, such as a square, or a triangle, or a diamond. Okay. Now, what the participant is told to do is he has a computer keyboard in front of him and a mouse. Okay. What he is told to do is that the very second that that diamond appears, he is to press the space bar. So he does. Once he presses the space bar when the diamond appears, and it can, it can appear any time. Okay? Say, first they display the square, then they display the triangle, then they display the diamond. Or, they display the square, and they display a trapezoid and a, di and a diamond. Or, maybe the diamond is the very first thing they display. Whatever it is, as soon as that diamond displays, he has to hit that space bar. After that, what happens is that the plus sign appears again. They call it a cross. I call it a plus sign. Okay, the plus sign appears again. Now what he's supposed to do is, using his mouse, he's supposed to indicate where the dot appeared at the beginning of the test. And then they determine how close he was to where the actual dot appeared. Because they can record those XY coordinates of where he clicks as opposed to the XY coordinates of where the dot actually appeared. They can tell how close he was to where the dot actually appeared. You talk about a tough test. First, he has to stare at a plus sign then he has to think about where this dot actually appears. And then he has to remember that information as he tries to watch these geometric shapes appear on the screen. And then making sure he taps the space bar when the diamond appears. And then he has to remember where that blue dot appeared in the first place. Talk about a tough test. That would be a challenge for just about anybody. Okay. Anyway, that concludes the test. And now that you know a little more about it, you can see how difficult it is. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.